Ladies and gentlemen, our today's uh, session chairman, Mr. Pradeep, and uh, my other honorable colleagues. It's honored to be here in this kind of the forum because uh, nowadays uh, very less forums are available where you can discuss something uh, about uh, this kind of the futuristic thing. Most of the time, people busy talking about the day-to-day -day discussion. I had taken a today morning flight from uh, Bombay, and in flight, uh, I met uh, one of my earlier brand ambassador. So we both uh, bump into each other, we shake hand, and then he says, uh, why you are taking so early morning flight, where you are going? So I told them, I am going to make a presentation to the conference uh, about the energy efficiency. So he says, how, how come the paint can do also on this thing? So I had not replied to him because I don't know how he will understand. But I checked with him why you are going to Delhi. So he's saying, uh, I had some discussion with the political party, so I'm going to pursue my career there. So I'm like, how come the Bollywood is connecting with the political thing? So he says, yeah, we have a something future and something hidden, so I can use it. So I told them same way, the paint has a something which can contribute to the energy efficiency. So from these slides, uh, I have not prepared a much slide. So as Pradeep suggested, I will take you to the, I will touch base to the uh, Earth Matters, which is our architect connect program and what we are doing it. But before uh, that to start, let me share it to the about the organization so that you can understand what is the context and uh, where paint as a category is stand and what all we are doing and what all we are not doing. So we are a uh, leading organization into the paint industry in India. Uh, the paint is a huge industry and uh, we have a leadership position into the automotive and as well as the decorative paint category. We have the uh, uh, we are the part of the Kansai, which is the world's leading paint company, and uh, they have the operation across all the globe. And in India, uh, our <coughs> philosophy, not only in India, the philosophy the worldwide is the growth. It's not only the earning, it should be the sustainable earnings. We should not be able to only the, uh, take up from the society, we should be able to give back to the society also. Uh, I had uh, captured the two uh, front page headlines, which is a little older, maybe the, within a six month span of time, maybe the little more. The one is from the uh, Delhi and one is from the Mumbai. So I was, last time when I was traveling to Delhi, so I captured this as on to the front page news of the Times of India. And it has mentioned air pollution back as a big health threat in Delhi. And uh, they had taken a uh, point of the Delhi, we all know it is the uh, city of the maximum number of the four wheelers and the two-wheelers. So they had, the study has shown how these four-wheelers and two-wheelers is going to pollute the environment and the way the Delhi is getting uh, contaminated with this kind of thing. The another study, uh, another the headlines news from the Mumbai, and uh, it was saying the inside air or indoor air quality of the Mumbai homes are getting deteriorated. Why? Because we all know the Mumbai is a high-rise culture because there is a less space for the residential into the Mumbai, and there the high-rise cultures are there. First builder sell the property by showing you the uh, sea view. Then they say now it is a garden view and then further there is another building view from that. So it's like a very close to close buildings are there. There is no way the air can get circulate or air can fresh air can rotate inside the houses. And it has started the overall polluting the inside air of the room, homes. Now, uh, there are the certain facts which I was just surfing yesterday and I tried to put it into the slides. Uh, the WHO study is there. They, they're saying directly or indirectly some way, some this kind of the pollution is affecting to the, our health. They try to relate with some kind of the mortality rate. And even I was just finding out from the Terry study also, they are saying ki the mortality under the five is also affecting because of this pollution. And average indoor air pollution in is India and 375 gram unit, which is a quite high. In case if you have to go to the international index, we are already ranking somewhere into the closer to the 100. So that's kind of the situation is there. And uh, we don't have as such any indoor air pollution, even for the outside air pollution also. We were just discussing with the, some news channels, can you show the uh, overall weather forecast? Why can't you start showing to the pollution of the, that particular city also so that people should get aware? So there is no pollution, uh, that's kind of the seriousness is there. Now, uh, if I have to talk about the building, so in terms of the building, the, how the building consume the overall resources, and uh, paint 
contribute to somewhere 5 to 7 percent cost of the building, though it is a very small in terms of the uh, resource or in terms of this uh, cost of the building. But in terms of the CO2 emission, it's come where contributes somewhere on the 12 percent of this thing. So paint and furnishing put together contribute 12 percent from this. And uh, this CO2 has been emitted by the VOC, which is called the volatilic organic compound. So whenever any paint got, any building got painted, whether it's the inside or the outside, this VOC element, first few days it's the, uh, emits very, very high decibel, and then later on they slow down, but it in fact remains somewhere around to one to one and a half month kind of thing. And these VOCs is not only harmful to the environment, but there is a lot of researches are coming. They are uh, very, very harmful for our health also. And uh, we all know we had to stop using the Chinese toys because uh, they use the lead element. So we thought ki it can be the very harmful for our kids. But the VOC is much more harmful than the leads. From the uh, narrow leg side, uh, we had removed the lead some around five years back from the our paint. And uh, from last two years, our all the water-based range is the low VOC or is the almost the no VOC kind of the range. In India, there is no VOC norms set by the government. Uh, the worldwide, the VOC norms are there. But in India, there is a practicing norms are somewhere around 30 to 50 milligram per liter kind of thing. But from the narrow leg side, we had proactively taken initiative and the, our entire water-based emulsion range is always, almost less than uh, 5 milligram per liter. And there are the certain product which is almost onto the no VOC or the zero VOC level. <coughs> Why this kind of the innovation uh, being into the paint, uh, we are doing it. Earlier the paint has been uh, treated as just only for the beautification. But uh, from the narrow lack and we have the philosophy, paint can't just only take care of your beautification or the upgradation of your walls, but it can transform the overall environment. So our core insight or our core belief is the paint can transform the life. So you, I hope you all have must have noticed if you go to the any shabby place which is very old painted and not very new painted, so you feel very chirpy, you don't feel that excited. But when you come to the well lit up, well painted places, you always feel very charged up. So this is the way the paint can do. So we thought paint is not only for the beautification, but it can transform the lives also. And uh, that's the way we started. And uh, to follow this further, we started making to the paint to more healthier and safer. By the way, uh, as per the government of India, paint comes under the top five polluting industry because we consume water, the kind of the byproducts we use it, the kind of the raw material we use it, it's not uh, safer. But uh, these things have started changing from last uh, 10 years, this uh, <coughs> direction quite a work going on. And being a pioneer into the industry, uh, we started making our range lead free. Then we started, uh, making a range uh, low VOC and uh, now it is a more healthier and safer paint. Along with this thing, the organization has also started a culture. Like we started uh, tracking our own cover footprint, we started tracking our own energy consumption. So along with the bottom line target, along with the top line target, the organization take the target how much the energy conservation we have to reduce over here. Now let's come to the uh, this is the pollution point. I touched it, how the VOC is going to pollute the overall thing. Now I'm going to quickly touch upon the what are the factors which can make the energy efficiency by using the paint. There are the paint is always have to, uh, any uh, building paint is always have to protect us from the <coughs> outside weather attack. Whether it's the sun heat is there or whether it's the cooling temperatures are there or whether it's the uh, rain moistures are there or whether it's the humidities are there. How this all going to affect on these things? So all weather attacks either come into the exterior wall or all the exterior wall, when it's consumed, the waters <laughs> and all deposited is happened, they started developing the moisture. So I just try to show it to the how the color goes uh, of how the paint film goes thick and how the overall things have started making the overall uh, energy consumption more. But in case if you have the product, which is a technologically strong, like we develop the product which is called the Impression Eco Clean. We develop this product based on the, because whenever you go for a painting, you always get a very pungent smell. So we develop this product which has a no order. This is a, uh, it's like a fumeless paint. You cannot, uh, you, whenever you enter into the, the newly painted home also, you will not realize it has got painted. And same time we 
incorporated the antibacterial features on this thing. So that's the way you can make it is a more uh, harmless and uh, it's more safer for this thing. Then we further come out with a product which has a more antifungal features on this thing. And uh, for the exterior, <coughs> because exterior can help you to save the energy consumption, we came out with a product which has a heat guard technology. Now there is a studies are available in case if there is a difference of 1 to 2 degree temperature from the outside to the inside, you can save a energy conservation by 5%. So though product has a little bit premium, but it can make the temperature change from the outside to the inside is somewhere around up to the 5 degree. So that's the way you can save the electricity bill or you can save the energy conservation. Uh, these are the smaller, smaller things uh, we, had, we are doing this study because uh, some of the projects, uh, some of the large building projects, builders always ask us to calculate and let us know what is the overall saving I am going to get it. So we did the saving and then the kind of the premium the customer is going to pay for this product, you are going to save into the energy bills in next to two to three years time and you are going to recover it the cost. Generally the painting cycle go to the four years plus. So you recover the premium cost in two years time and then another two years time you are going to save mm -hmm. and same time mm -hmm. you save the energies also. Same way the another uh, heat guard technology oriented and it has this product we developed especially for the coastal region because coastal there is a lot of peeling and cracking happen because of the continuous rains. So especially into the Kerala market or the Bombay market. So we have uh, this product which is going to, which is helping them on this thing. And all the product has a uh, required a certification. Most of the time projects whenever any uh, professional they use it, they require the certification to work upon it. Now, uh, what the uh, even chairman has also asked, so I am also going to share it. <coughs> From a few years back, there was a uh, always a challenge to get a how, what kind of the good and new looking designer building is we are going to make it. But once we were interacting with the architects and interior decorator community, we realized now there is a new trend has started or the uh, this is the new uh, thing where people want to make it how the energy, uh, how the overall building they can make it the more sustainable, how they can make it the more less energy consumption building. So on this lines we thought from the paint side can we make one initiative where we can give them the platform. And we started this momentum somewhere around three years back. Earth Matters is a series where uh, we organize uh, this kind of the uh, symposium into the city to city and basically into the tier two and tier three cities because the Delhi, Mumbai, all these six, eight metros has a lot of information. But once you go to the Nagpur or you go to the Kolhapur, the architects and interior decorators a lot of craze to understand all this kind of the information. So we try to bring this some senior speakers and they try to bring the symposium, they discuss. So some of the good nice ideas are coming forward and they are getting implemented. Right from the uh, meet on ground, we had started a Facebook page, there are the 23,000 uh, fans are there and they are discussing about the practice, some of the architect, they are sharing the ideas, how they can make it. The one architect from the Kochi, he has shared the idea how he can use the water, one architect from the Madurai has shared how he had used the local architecture. So this is the way we had provided this platform and uh, it is moving forward. And the another initiative which we started this year is the uh, Akesh program because uh, during the earth matter discussion most of the architect has mentioned is ki how can we track this thing, how, uh, how much uh, energy I had uh, saved or how much building I had made it. So one thing either they can do the track uh, internally for their project and here we had provided this online platform. Wherever they are going to make any green project, they can put the details of those projects and they can calculate how much VOC they are going to save it, how much the energy efficiency they had built it up. And at the end of the year, they can say how much the balance sheet of these are the things which they did it for the entire year for the project they developed. So these are the initiatives which we are trying to take it. And uh, we are again thankful to the Griha and the, uh, <coughs> they are organizing this kind of the discussions more. Nowadays, many discussions are happening, but some discussions are really taking a good shape. So thanks a lot for listening it to me and uh, I hope today's session we are going to make uh, some concrete discussion.